um, snow plows uh, that need to keep the road clear up to the observation post at the top of his uh, this uh, mound, which is where we are heading. And so we continue to climb at 6% now with 1,200 metres remaining. It does ease and then it kicks again. Now we're on a big ribbon of a road that goes around the mountain here, and they will start turning constantly to the right as we go round. Little jink to the left here, but um, uh, stay with it. Uh, then we sort of wind ourselves corkscrew style up towards the top. Got it? Good. Uh, 1,100 metres to go. There is a big right-hander coming up right now. Uh, here we are. Would be focused if it wasn't uh, going so slowly. A bit of gravel tracking going on on the, the side of the road. And then there is a more lazy hairpin that we just come into now, and it, it, it'll kind of be taken in slow motion. The road gently goes left and then starts to go right, and it tightens up. It goes right and right and right and right, if you see what I mean. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And then it's full blast for the line. They're still climbing at the moment, 7%. This is where it hurts at the concrete sector. Uh, they're beating the hoardings at the finish line. This is good work here by Van Helmsen, I must say, for, uh, uh, for Team Flanders. The man with the uh, King of the Mountains jersey he's kicking on here, and this is for others to try and follow him if they can. Uh, Dainese's boys are in there, uh, Matt Dinham, Kevin Vermark as well. Can't hold on to his coattails just yet. And uh, Tobias Johansson's waiting to go. Can he possibly? The Norwegian champion's also there, Devenians but can't pick it up just yet. And we're into the hoarded sections already, and still great work from uh, Van Helmsen uh, for Flanders, and he kicks again. Goodness me, that is impressive, I must say. And uh, on a climb, well, who are better than the King of the Mountains? And here comes Garofoli. Uh, Garofoli picks it up, Gazzoli, I beg your pardon, I think it is. Gazzoli goes for it, Garofoli coming up as well. It could well be an Astana 1-2. It looks like they may well dominate. They're going to race each other for it. And here they come up and over the line, and it's going to be theirs. Astana have got this through great timing, I believe. That is a fantastic piece of riding. Chapeau to them. Wonderful win for Gazzoli. He takes the day, and his teammate is also in the vanguard. Super work, I think it was uh, Scaroni, but Gazzoli with the delivery. That was brilliant. Well, we said that the day was going to favour the brave, and Michele Gazzoli was exactly that. And he's going to get all the pats. Goodness me, like a like a St. Bernard Mountain dog here. He's rescued the team in this one. That is fantastic. Aston and Kazakhstan make the day their own. Don't break his eardrum. <laughs> Michele Gazzoli takes it at the line, and I couldn't be happier for them. Terrific team and a fabulous win. Yeah. Well, was that a battle of attrition? <laughs> it certainly was. And lots of congratulations ringing in here, and the tears flow as if we didn't have enough yesterday. Well, we offer our congratulations to him as well. That was more than handy. That was impressive. Well, Hobbs was up there. Dainese was uh, was trying his best to get involved as he did yesterday. But Kelly Gatsoli brings it home for Astana. Let's have a look, look, another look at this. Well, his teammates with him as well. Um, and he just bowed his time brilliantly, followed a couple of wheels where he needed to. And indeed made the finale his own. Scaroni it was that uh, lit it up at the beginning. This is Scaroni leading everybody. And then his teammate Gazzoli gets on his wheel, sails by, and I believe Scaroni held on and just held off a charging uh, Jonathan Lastra, who was uh, full of belief as well, uh, coming in here for uh, for Cofidis. But what a win that was, and in the end, by about five or six bike lengths. That was very impressive. Michele Gattoli takes it ahead of uh, Christian Scaroni and Jonathan Lastra, I believe, just getting up for Cofidis here with everybody else just wrestling their bikes at the last. Well, after all the work that Uno X did, 
they have got some questions to ask, I think. <laughs> what a great, great result that was for Astana. And, of course, for Michele Gazzoli. Arctic race of Norway. I think that's probably his biggest win of his career. 24 years of age now.